light travels through the cornea, anterior chamber, pupil, lens, and the posterior chamber, eventually reaching the retina. Photoreceptor cells in the outer layers of the retina, which are called rods and cones, convert light stimuli into neuronal impulses. The optic nerve sends impulses to the brain for further processing and image recognition. The most common stimulus for pupillary constriction is exposure of the retina to light. Reflex pupillary constriction is also part of the act of convergence and accommodation for near objects. The light reflex fibers course through the optic nerve and chiasm. The optic chiasm diverges into a left and right optic tract. The fibers then leave the optic tract just rostral to the lateral geniculate body. Then they enter the rostral midbrain where they synapse in the predictal nucleus. From predictal nucleus, the spatial intercalated neurons pass ventrally to the ipsilateral and contralateral edinger westfall nucleus. An efferent pathway from the edinger westfall nucleus travel on the oculomotor nerve and synapses in the ciliary ganglion. From ciliary ganglion, short ciliary nerves innervate the iris sphincter muscles. The contraction of the iris sphincter muscles leads to pupillary constriction. This extensive pathway is being tested when a light is shined in the eyes. And because of the crossing fibers, there is not only a direct pupillary reflex, but also a consensual pupillary light reflex. Abnormal pupillary light reflex can be found in optic nerve injury, oculomotor nerve damage, brain stimulations such as tumors, medications like barbiturates.